Okay, welcome. I'm doing a pheasant pie and maybe some pheasant pasties here this evening. So we've got a nice cut pheasant here, it was shot on Saturday. Um, so I'm going to just skin it first and take the breasts off it. Okay, so I've got the skin pheasant carcass which I'm going to use for a soup and then there's the uh, breast which I'm going to put in the pie. Okay, so I've um, put the I've cubed up the pheasant breasts and put them in some seasoned flour and I'm going to fry them off in the pan now for um, a few minutes just to brown them off. So the pheasant's all browned off now so I'm going to stick some bacon in there and uh, just crispen it up for a while. Okay, welcome back. Um, so I'm going to put everything together now. So um, put the bacon and the pheasant into the pan, into a large pot. I've got two chicken stock cubes and a litre of water here, or half a litre of water. One large leek. A couple of celery sticks and a few carrots. And a few mushrooms. You can put whatever veg you want in it, but this is what I prefer. Top it up with um, some boiling water. Um, don't make it too watery because you're going to want a thick consistency. You can always add water later if you want. More. Let that simmer down for a minute or two and then I'll start adding some of the seasoning and spices and herbs and stuff. Okay, so into the mix we'll go rosemary, thyme, some Tabasco, Liam, Liam Pairings, salt and pepper. Um, I'm also going to put um, a little bit of pearl barley or soup mix into it to help thicken up the, the, or the, the filling at the end. Again, just season the taste or just throw in a little bit of each which I normally do. So I'll mix that round and then let it cook for simmer away for maybe half an hour, a few quarters of an hour and then I'll come back and taste it and adjust the seasoning. While the mix is cooking I'm going to um, boil up the pheasant carcass here to make a, a little bit of soup. So I'm going to just basically boil this for um, a few hours tonight and then I'll make the rest of the soup tomorrow. Um, just boil up the carcass, a few chicken stock cubes and some veg and pearl barley. So this has been cooking for about 45 minutes or so now but I'm going to leave it for about another hour just to simmer down so that it thickens up because it's still quite watery at the minute. Um, and then I'll leave it to cool overnight and then I'll do my pasties in the morning and the pie in the morning and I'll finish off with soup in the morning as well. Welcome back everyone. Um, so this is the stock that I boiled um, the pheasant carcass up in. 
Um, so I have skimmed um, the, any fat off the top of the surface of it. So I'm going to strain it through this um, sieve, just take any of the um, little bits off the bottom to gather up. So um, I'm going to put into that um, two dissolved chicken stock cubes which are dissolved in there at the minute. Half a packet of this soup veg, um, pre-chopped soup veg if you want to be chop your own but it's much easier just to buy that. And half about half a cup of um, pearl barley or soup mix. So that's all I'm going to go into the pot and I'm going to just let it simmer for a couple of hours um, just until it gets um, just the desired thickness and consistency. This is the uh, pie filling that I made last night. Um, it's good and thick now, um, so I'm going to pop it into this um, dish and then I'll uh, cover it with some puff pastry. I'm going to put in because the rest of this I'm going to use to make um, a few pasties. Um, so okay, so now I'm going to roll the pastry. So um, just pre-bought a block of pastry, a puff pastry from Tesco's, um, and I'm going to uh, put some sunflower down. I'm going to roll it out here and then put a top on the pie, and then um, I will make some pasties up with the rest of the filling as well. So um, just put in, I'm just going to trim around the edges here, uh, just trim off any excess pastry um, and then I'll beat up one egg and um, put it over the top just as egg wash and that'll be it ready to go in the oven. Um, normally I cook it for about 35 minutes at about 180 degrees or until the pastry is completely uh, crispy. Okay so I'm going to do um, now some pasties. So I've rolled out some pastry here. Um, and what I'm going to do is put a little bit of the pie filling in the centre of these. Don't put too much because uh, whenever you're peeling the pastry it could uh, push out, get pushed out the sides. So you're just looking for a little bit of mixture, some pheasant and some carrots. Be enough there. Double check. Whenever you fold over, you should know anyway because if there's too much, it'll start um, sort of spilling out the edges. So that looks just about right. So, what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of water just around the pastry like this and it helps seal part of the pastry. So, go around the, the parts you fold over and just push them down. Don't worry about doing it too tidy. Um, I'll cut off some of the excess here. And then you can see properly here, I'm just going to start folding over like this. And this is what you should be left with. Um, so I'll do another couple of those and then I'll show you what they're like at the end. So this is what I'm left with. Um, <coughs> four pastries, or pasties and um, the one pie. Um, so not bad for one pheasant and a few veg. So I've now put um, some of the uh, chopped veg into the soup along with the uh, pearl barley soup mix. So into that I'm also going to put some of the chopped up um, pheasant meat. Um, and then I'll put some seasoning, just salt and pepper, um, into taste. And as I say, cook it for an hour or two just until it's the desired consistency.